and amino acid derivatives in proteins okay so we have mentioned that there are 20 amino acids in the proteins but there are few amino acids i uh, mean like uh, amino acid derivatives which do exist in the proteins right but what to say they can be incorporated in proteins due to the presence of universal genetic code right so 20 but some of the amino acids they undergo specific modifications after the protein synthesis once protein synthesize suppose if you are like uh, taking any movie that movie has been shooted for four hours but when it comes to the reactors the length of the movie is three hours what they do before they remove the unnecessary uh, unnecessary scenes okay at the same time they will add any interesting scenes right to make the screenplay uh, gripping okay so similarly any protein is synthesized all the protein molecule will not be functional so to avoid that there is editing mechanism for protein okay which are uh, synthesized okay so any unwanted uh, part is there in the protein that will be cut and removed if any modification any add any things to be added to that protein for the function functional aspect those things will be added suppose any addition of phosphate group or any addition of carbohydrate or any addition of nitrogen group or any addition of hydroxyl group so all these are coming under editing okay so like this these amino acids will be modified right and these modified amino acid or amino acid derivatives are very important for protein structure and functions so one such is collagen okay collagen is a protein okay the most abundant protein in uh, protein in uh, mammals which contain 4 hydroxyproline hydroxylysin but we don't have hydroxyproline hydroxylysin in 20 amino acids okay we have only proline and lysine that means which indicating proline will be hydroxylase addition of hydroxyl group to proline to form hydroxyproline and addition of uh, pro, uh, hydroxyl group to lysine converting into 5-hydroxylysine so these are very very important in uh, formation of collagen functional collagen and next is histones the protein which are found in association with DNA okay they will wrap around the nucleic acids and uh, which gives stability to these nucleic acids okay that means they are they contain many methylated phosphorylated or acetylated amino acids okay and gamma carboxyglutamic acid which is found in certain plasma proteins involved in blood clotting okay and this carboxyglutamic acid in association with vitamin k okay grabs the calcium glutamic acid is having a two carboxy that means uh, these have carries uh, two carboxylic groups so it uh, have two valences that means it carries the calcium it holds the calcium and helps in blood clotting cysteine is formed by combination of two cysteines that's what i was telling in the uh, classification of amino acids and sulfur under sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and cysteine what's the difference i've already explained in the previous video okay and this is also a derived amino acid cysteine okay and other non-protein amino acids that means these are the amino acids which you cannot get in the protein okay in the protein structure okay so before the amino acid derivatives which you can get in protein structure okay after modification but these are the amino acids which you cannot get in protein structure anywhere okay but in metabolisms in mid of the metabolic pathways you will get these amino acids so one such is ornithine citrulline so these are the two intermediate uh, metabolites okay which are uh, like amino acid in nature you will get in uh, urea cycle okay arginosaxonic acid is also in urea cycle thyroxine triiodothyronine okay all these you can uh, uh, see in the synthesis of uh, thyroid hormone okay and uh, sam s adenosyl methionine okay which is acting as a methyl donor okay and homocysteine which is also uh, like what to say intermediate in methionine metabolism a risk factor for coronary heart rate disease so lot of research has been done on homocysteine which is the main culprit and um, uh, causing of uh, coronary heart diseases okay and uh, 3 4 dihydroxyphenylalanine it is a neurotransmitter and precursor of melanin a skin pigment and creatinine which is derived from the uh, skeletal muscles and excreted in urine so all these are non uh, protein amino acids okay and non alpha amino acids such as we do require only alpha nature things i mean like alpha amino acids we do get okay and amino acids so they do few amino acids which are not in alpha in nature beta alanine so as i mentioned beta alanine is a component of pantothenic acid and coenzyme a okay pantothenic acid is b complex vitamin b5 and uh, beta amino isobutyric acid 
it is a end product of uh, pyrimidine metabolism uh, that means uh, nucleotide metabolism and uh, gamma amino butyric acid gaba okay is an inhibitory neurotransmitter produced from glutamic acid okay and uh, gamma amino lyulonic acid uh, which is intermediate in heme synthesis okay which plays major role in fo formation of heme okay in rbc and taurine which is found in association with bile acids taurocholic acid taurocholic acid and bile acids are required for emulsification aspect d amino acids so so far we do require for in uh, biology i mean in biological system or in our body okay we we can utilize only l type of amino acids they do exist of d amino acids but they are not useful to us okay certain d amino acids like uh, what is the commercial use okay these d amino acids in the treatment of few diseases or disorders they will use okay such antibiotics they are actinomycin d valinomycin gramicidin so these are the prominent antibiotics in treatment of uh, bacterial infections okay and d glutamic acid d alanine which are present in bacterial cell wall d serine d aspartate is also uh, you will get in brain tissue okay as like a structure you will get them 